All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here forbear. Another lesson on fearing the God of the Bible, man. I mean, it don't stop. I mean, and this lesson is for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you speckled birds, you Israelites that look like these other nations, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Once again, it's another lesson on fearing the God of the Bible. I mean, do you not see what's going on? Do you not see the God of the Bible is taking people out by the thousands, on top of thousands, on top of thousands? We know the terror of the Lord. See, we know the Lord, you know, he ain't playing no games. The Lord is taking people out, man. And I could be here for days just naming the ways that the God of Bible is taking people out by plane, plane crashes, train crashes, car accidents, house fires, thunderstorms, earthquakes, guns, heart attacks, strokes, you name it, man. The God of the Bible wants us to fear him, man. And do what is written to the best of our ability. Everything that's written up in this Bible, you do it to the best of your ability. Look, the God of the Bible is always watching. He got the angels always watching each and every last one of us. That's why you got to move wisely out here in this earth. You can be taken out any second of the day. Man don't know his time, as the scripture have said, right? And we always bring out these scriptures. Look, look, look. But you got to dig deep down into the scriptures and hear exactly what the scriptures are saying. The God of the Bible has been telling us over and over and over again through his prophets to fear him. There was always the beginning of knowledge. It's to fear the God of the Bible. Let's get into some scriptures though, Hebrews. Chapter 10. For we know 30. Hebrews 10 and 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance. Not love, but vengeance. Belongeth unto me. I will recompense. The word recompense means to pay back. See all the things that you Israelites been doing, all the wrong stuff. All the evils, all the wickedness that you have been doing and you haven't repent from it. The God of the Bible says he's going to pay you back for it. He's going to pay you back for it with vengeance, man. Okay? This is, look, this is not a game. I, look, I, I got to read that again. Because you got these church pastors teaching our people that the God of the Bible is all about love. He loves you no matter what you do. The Bible don't say that. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance. Vengeance, man. Belongeth unto me. You know what you look here at Great Millstone. We look up the definitions of words, man. Okay? You got to look up the meaning of these words. Vengeance. It's a noun. Punishment, punishment now, inflicted or retribution, exacted for an injury or wrong, man. Revenge, you know, the Bible, look, the guy in the Bible is coming back with vengeance, man, with revenge. Look, the Lord ain't coming back playing. Look, I will recompense, meaning pay back, said the Lord. And again, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, right? Shall judge his people. You see what the God of the Bible is doing to the gooks over there? They got that coronavirus, and then that virus just spread it around the earth. 
But you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you too, you too tough, right? You too bad to submit to your how about you know, trying to bow down. Well, you gonna bow down either way. When you get hit with that Ebola virus or that SARS, which is the coronavirus, or cancer, or AIDS, or any one of these plagues or pestilence that the God of Bible hit you with, look, then you're going to want to try to bow down. You need to bow down now. You need to fear now. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And who is that living power? The God of the Bible, man. The look, this is not coming back plain. And then the thing about it, the God of the Bible sends forth judgment every morning, every evening. Look, man know if it not though. Look, man, man too busy playing around with itself. Man too busy feeling itself. He got a whole lot of pride. But do you not know the God of the Bible is going to come back and shut pride down? He's going he to come back and shut pride down, man. Let's, let's get this right quick. Second Ezra, the seventh chapter. The God of the Bible hates a prideful person. And pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. And the word perish means to die. Look, because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. And who is the law set before? The Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Moses came down off the mountain with the laws and gave it to us, man, on stones. It's 2020, and now people are still rebellious. They still hate, they still despise the words of the Bible, meaning they have no fear with everything that's going on. They felt family members being taken out on a regular. You mean to tell me that there's still no fear of the God of the Bible, even though he's taking these people out at an alarming rate? That's why it reads here, 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For there be many, look, for there be many, not just a few, but there be great, look, look, listen now, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. And you see that going on right about now. Who's causing all these miseries? Who's causing all these pains, these aches, these evils, these bad times? The God of the Bible. But our people are too hard-headed and too full of pride to acknowledge it. So freaking piss is coming. This says great miseries, man. Just when you thought 2020 was going to go smooth for you, and you was going to cash that income tax check, and you was going to go to the beach, and you was going to have fun, and you going to, nah. The God of the Bible is shaking up the earth right about now. He says, great miseries shall be done to these people in the latter time, man. Great miseries, man. It's a must that we fear. Look, look, misery. It's a noun, a state or feeling of great distress or discomfort of mind or body. Ain't that what's going on over there in China? Do people stress the hell out, man? And most definitely, it's the it's a di discomfort of mind and body. You got people dying by the thousands because of that plague, that disease, unhappiness, distress, sufferings, and it ain't just over there in China. It's throughout the earth, man. See, one thing about the God of the Bible, he's going to amplify it, though. He's going to turn it up. Torture, torment, agony, pain, poverty. You got a whole lot of people homeless right about now. The scripture said, many great miseries shall be done to these people in the latter times. These are the latter days. These are the latter times. 
grand opening, grand closing, man. You know, depression. A whole lot of people are going through depression right about now. They don't know when they're going to get their next meal from. And who's orchestrating that? The God of the Bible? Let's finish this off, though. And we'll get that. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride, man. The more majority of these people are walking around in great pride, and then you wonder why all these things are happening to you, right? Look, you wonder why all these things are happening to you. Look, don't the scripture say pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall? Pride is hateful to your how by Shinyao Shai. Amos chapter 3. Verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, in a city, and the Lord have not done it? So everything that you see going on is being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. He got his hand in everything. Man goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own ways? Yeah, man created the coronavirus, man created AIDS. But who's controlling man? The God of the Bible, right? Right? Look, that's why it's a must that we fear. You don't let a day go by. You fear the Lord each and every day you wake up. You don't let a day go by, man. Let's get this, Psalms. Psalms chapter 147. And I'm just flowing in the spirit right about now. It's about fearing the God of the Bible. With everything that's going on, you must fear the God of the Bible. Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. See, how do you please the God of the Bible? You fear him. Those that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, right? Once again, Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you're able to call God and Jesus, taking pleasure in them that fear him, that fear him, that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. And that's all we got. Hope, faith, prayer for mercy. Praying that the God of the Bible shows us mercy when he brings that wrath, when he brings destruction, when he brings diseases, when he brings calamities, when, he's bring, when he brings these different miseries. But the majority of our people, they don't see it that way. But they don't see it that way. They don't fear the God of the Bible. This is Deuteronomy 6 and 24. And the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai commanded us, commanded us, the Hebrew Israelites, to do all these statues. To fear. This is a commandment. It's a commandment that we fear the God of the Bible. To fear the Lord, our power, for our good. Fearing the God of the Bible is for our good. Always. That he might preserve us alive. Didn't we just read that? Didn't we just read that? Psalms 147 and 11. The God of the Bible said he's going to preserve those that fear him. He taketh pleasure in those that fear him, right? That he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. The God of the Bible is protecting us from harm and danger each and every second of the day, Israel. Some of us have been in all kind of accidents. We steer here to give testimony of how great Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is and how, how beautiful His mercy is. We have been through all kind of things and the Lord still got us alive right here to give testimony. And then we know, look, it's all about the fear of the Lord, man. You know? Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore, let the fear 
of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. So look, when judgment comes, you can't pay the Lord off. He don't want your money. The God of the Bible wants you to fear him. And our people going to learn that the hard way. Israel will learn that the hard way, man. You know, you look, you either going to learn or you going to burn, right? So Rock also knows Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord. Oh, oh I love the Lord. I love the Lord. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word and they that love him will keep his way they that fear the Lord Yahweh Shai, will seek that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law man that's if you fear the God of the Bible and look and look and you're gonna fear one way or the other Look, you going to fear one way or the other. Psalm chapter 118 verse 4. Let them now that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, say that his mercy endureth forever. The God of the Bible has been showing us enough mercy, man. Enough compassion. The God of the Bible could have been killed us, man. All the wickedness that we have done, the God of the Bible could have been took us off the earth. But his mercy endure forever. And we must fear the Lord, man. We must fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because, because the scripture tell you what, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? But the scriptures also say, fools despise wisdom and instruction. Look, I just want to bring out something through the spirit of Yahweh, but she not shall fear, man. You see the, you see the fear of burn, man. With everything that's going on across the earth, the Lord has been protecting us, man, through all of it, man. You know. This is my last scripture, Psalm chapter 119. It's 74. They that fear, they that fear thee, meaning the Lord, right, will be glad when they see me, because I have hope in thy word. You know, Amos, Amos tell you um, why why you warn to them that desire to dare the Lord. What end is it for you? Some people desiring to dare the Lord, but they haven't started fearing yet. So why are you so happy? Why you are so excited about the Lord coming? He's coming to destroy. Vengeance belongeth unto him. We know the power that have said vengeance belongeth unto him. Fear. We must all fear the God of the Bible. Lord willing, the elect was edified. Fear, man. Let the fear of the Lord be in you. Shalom. I had to bring one more out. I got to bring one more scripture out. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 67. Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. Israel, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, fear him, right? Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins, your transgressions. Your breaking of the laws of the Bible, right? And forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh, Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And that's what's coming. Trouble, man. Trouble. Let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Turn from your wickedness. Repent. Seek the God of the Bible while he may be found. Fear the Lord. Let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Shalom.